Good evening to you. I'm Tom Ziska. We are glad to have you with us. We begin with three men who were killed in a golf cart accident overnight after authorities say an SUV driver crashed right into them. It happened at a town like Parkway near Greenhouse in Cyprus just before three this morning. As Fox 26's Natalie He explains, alcohol may have played a factor. Well, the driver of the SUV who crashed into the golf cart has now been charged with three counts of felony murder. Authorities believe that he had been drinking right before the accident. A tragic scene overnight in Cyprus. Harris County Sheriff's deputies say Daniel Rivera was drunk when he was driving a black Escalade SUV, ran a stop sign before crashing into a golf cart, killing all three men inside. It happened at a four-way stop on Greenhouse near Town Lake Parkway around 2.45 a.m. There were at least three occupants in the SUV, a male, a female and a small child. A small child has been taken from the scene by relatives. Sheriff Gonzalez said Rivera, the woman and the child were all okay and suffered non-life-threatening injuries. However, two of the men in the golf cart died on the scene and one at the hospital. Authorities have now identified the victims as Jacob Wunuk, Fraser Anderson and Christopher Scandridge, all three ranging in age from 37 to 41 years old. Neighbors in this tight-knit community say the golf carts should only be driven during the day. In my mind, I've always like it was just a matter of time before something tragic happened. We don't have a golf cart and part of the reason why is because I don't want, you know, myself or my kids like crossing the streets when pe cars don't pay attention sometimes. When you're driving a golf cart, you should make sure that you know the laws of the road, right? Or where your golf cart should be. Should it be on the road or should it be on the sidewalk, right? Eerily, this deadly crash happened on the same day a community in Galveston is remembering the lives of four people who were killed in a fatal golf cart accident last year by another drunk driver. Families and loved ones gathered at the intersection of Avenue R and 33rd Street on Saturday for a vigil honoring 49-year-old Felipe Bencantor, 25-year-old Destiny Vale, 14-year-old Braylon Cantu, and 4-year-old Kaser Bencantur. The Harris County Sheriff's Office says this case remains under investigation. For any updates, you can check out our website, fox26houston.com. From Cyprus, Natalie He, Fox 26 News.